Next we have the last lightning talk. Uh, it's going to be about accessibility checking with browser extensions. Please welcome to the stage Elot van Lee Uven. I hope that's close enough. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone. I'll be uh, having a little talk about uh, accessibility checking with browser library extensions. Who of you is, thank you, thank you. Uh, who of you is doing uh, web automation? That's a lot of you. Then I have good news for you because this talk is for you. First, a little bit about myself. My name is uh, Eilat Valewe. I'm uh, a test automation consultant with uh, Capgemini in the Netherlands. And I've been using Robot Framework for more than seven years. Um, I know a little bit about uh, web content accessibility guidelines, and um, I'm hoping to, uh, yeah, to transfer my knowledge to you and to make web accessibility checking more accessible to you. So what is accessibility checking actually in a nutshell? It's estimated that uh, uh, over a quarter of the population have some sort of, di of disability, and uh, web accessibility is about making the web accessible for um, everyone. Uh, the, uh, the web is, is basically it's a necessity for, uh, for everyone, so it's important that uh, using the web is perceivable, understandable, and easy to navigate. So let's get started with web accessibility guidelines now. What is the web accessibility guidelines? They are provided by the W3C Corporation, and they consist of principles, guidelines, and success criteria. Uh, the principles, they provide the basic foundation for web accessibility. And these principles are perceivable, operable, understandable, and robustness. And then there are 13 guidelines, and they provide you with a framework and an overall objectives to help you understand the success criteria. Then next comes the success criteria, and each guideline they have testable success criteria. To meet different needs, there are three levels of conformance to these levels. You have conformance level satisfactory, level A, AA, and AAA. And where possible, these success criteria can be made into rules. And that brings us to the next slide. There is a, compan a company called uh, DAG, and uh, they have provided an open source tool, Xcore. And Xcore aims to have a coverage of over 75% uh, of the total issues that can be found uh, on your web page. This set of rules, they, can be, uh, they uh, validate the HTML and it only checks for uh, rendered content. So only the HTML that is visible is checked by Xcore. Well, as said, it's open source, and it's available in integrations in C Sharp, Java, Ruby, Python, and Node.js. Wait, Node.js? Yes. That brings us to the browser library. Because with browser library, you can, uh, you can extend browser library with uh, Node.js and uh, a JavaScript. So I've made one keyword, and it tests all the X rules on uh, Web Content Accessibility Guidelines 2A, uh, AA, um, and the best practice rule. And I also provided you with a pre-made wrapper keyword. This keyword provides you with uh, a report and with logging that, um, uh, that provides you with all the information you need to know what, violation, what violations you have made 
and it also provides you with guidelines to your developers how to solve these issues. So I've made an, exa uh, an example implementation where I wrap this uh, JavaScript functionality uh, so that it locks the violations and it also makes the keyword recallable as many times in your test case as you like. So let's call this keyword generate x results. This is an example of uh, one of these test cases. You go to a new page. In this case, I go to robotframework.org slash foundation. I create the X results and I go to uh, robotframework slash RPA and I create the results again. Well, what do you get in return? Because that was very easy, wasn't it? It's Literally, that only one keyword is everything you need to check uh, for all uh, the accessibility, uh, accessibility rules by Xcore. Well, this is the robot framework logging, and it basically gives you what issue has been violated, what the impact is, and on uh, where the, uh, the elements were actually affected. If you click on this link, it uh, brings you to another report, and this report lists everything a bit differently. It gives you a description of the violations. It gives you the X rules, uh, the X rule ID, um, what web content accessibility guideline was violated and how many times it was violated within the web page. Then it goes into a bit more detail about what rule, what the rule actually means that has been violated. Again, where the violation has been taken place and then it gives you uh, a hint how to solve it so that you can give this to your developers. And if that doesn't give you enough information, it even brings you to um, a page where it goes in depth into details what this violation means and how you can solve it. Now you may say, but hey, I'm not using browser library, I'm using Selenium library. Well then, there, we've got you covered too, because there is also a robot framework X library made by Shiva, and he uh, has made basically the same implementation uh, for Selenium as I've just showed you for uh, X. It also gives you the ability to run X rules and to, uh, uh, to log the results into your robot framework logging. So really, what are you waiting for? It, it's this easy to start uh, checking web accessibility for your web automation. It's really all you need. And I'm really, uh, I really want to encourage you to start uh, doing web accessibility and let's make the web more accessible for everyone. It's available on Market Square. And if you've got any questions, I'll be at the speaker's booth and yeah, really, let's make this place more web content accessibility proof. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Elad. Um, one question. Uh, how well does it help with helping to check for various types of color blindness? Um, it does indeed check on the contrast difference uh, between uh, uh, between elements, uh, so yeah, it, it does help, um, and it also checks for different types of color blindness. Excellent, yes. excellent. Give up, not up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank, you thank you for Elad, thank you Elad. And that was his first public talk. Quite awesome, quite awesome. This speech also uh, inspired René to ask from the crowd, who is willing to make our foundation page better regarding accessibility? Few hands, few hands still. Good, good, that's good. Uh, now we have a break, so we'll continue here uh, half past three. 
So go and have coffee and meet new people. See you there, or here. <laughs> Bye.